Hello again everyone, nice of you to join us. Having a nice drink of Yorkshire Gold. So refreshing. We're back on board after uh, quite a few bad weeks to be honest, like we said in the previous video, we've both felt pretty rough. You know, and, uh, and Bernadette's dad's been in hospital with pneumonia. But things are looking up for us all. You know, we're all getting better, which is a good thing. We're about 85% there now, so can't complain. And uh, we're back on board as well, because we've been uh, back home. We had time at the cottage for the Queen's Jubilee, where the village put on one heck of a show. Uh, to commemorate such a, a wonderful event and uh, it was lovely so in this video you'll be joining us going back down the clan goslin and uh, it was lovely weather as well the weather was absolutely spot on so i'll finish my tea and uh, why don't you get uh, something to drink as well and uh, join us on the trip and we hope you enjoy so come on let's get going it's always a uh, well it is quicker when you come in back down the clan because you're with the floor so you seem to get to your spot where you, you're going much much faster than going the opposite way if that makes sense boat traffic's just getting a little bit busier as well we've seen quite a few today no bad thing but it just shows you that very soon the canals will be back in business properly with boats of every size type and description Good look out at the front Bernadette is for any trees what are hanging out she uh, always lets me know hi Always tight going past these boats when uh, they're not out, single file only. Not long to our moorings now, can't wait. Just before our last lift bridge there's a, 
and at the turning to the right I've talked about it before the Whitchurch arm and I've just noticed where the boat's moored rather them than me we have seen so many boats get it on that mooring I've lost count because it's such a an awkward spot to moor there a bit near the entrance and there's little doubt if they stay there for long they will get a, a good pranging to put it mildly I will be glad when we get to our moorings because my leg is still aching a bit now and I think I've had enough of standing up. <laughs> We're going to stop for a few days, you know, a couple of days, mainly to rest my leg I think as well. It should be a bit easier then. But it's still, uh, I've still got a few twinges. But it should settle down soon. It's not as bad as it was. And then... Uh, we can be off again and I won't have as many aches and pains or oh, not aches and pains from the <laughs> my leg the other aches and pains are with us <laughs> as and when <laughs> but yeah we're going to have a, a chill out for a few days Ten minutes to our moorings now. Looking forward to getting the fire on. But at least the boat's not stone cold. But anybody who's watching us or watched us for a while will know that our radiators are piping up now because it's took the excess heat from the engine and we get free central heating. That's not bad. Another sustainable idea. And one of our best. After a few days staying at the top of the locks at Grinley Brook, on our way down the Clangothlan, we've set off again in some great weather. It's been horrible for a few days. But the good thing is that my leg which I hurt when I fell down that hole in a previous vlog I told you about it it's feeling a lot better with that rest I feel as though I'm more back to normal <laughs> so it's uh, it should be a, a nice cruise today the weather's fine when you think you know just 24 hours ago god the winds but it's lovely again now and I'm looking forward to the day as is Bernadette after many years of a full-time lock keeper on at Grinley Brook a great guy called John it's been changed to volunteer lock keepers now and uh, all I can say is I hope I hope they don't try and tell Bernadette how to do this, having done it so many times.
the house you can see near this lock it's not the uh, it is a house it's not the uh, the lodge that's on the other side which I shown in a previous video but where you see that bay window there when you was coming down these locks many years ago you could get some gorgeous pies from there we always uh, made a, a beeline for there get some pies and eat them on our travels a lot different nowadays Absolutely amazing the Grinley Brook staircase locks where people have so many issues it really is we've seen so many should we say discussions between people it's got a rule which is three up three down officially but uh, <laughs> I know that's been broken many times I remember a, a lady who said she'd had enough queuing and she decided off her own back that even though there was boats coming down there was actually two in she opened the bottom one and came in with her boat and believe it or not there was a standoff for a while and uh, it was what you call bedlam many a raised voice but thankfully it was sorted out I wonder what would have happened if there was no nobody on the locks which can happen now you know no no volunteer or anything just up to people's selves to do it I have a suspicion that over time you might get a, a permanent lock keeper back on this this flight because in peak season there's nothing like it on the uh, on the network but definitely not <laughs> Yes, yeah. What's your, what's your name? The Tiller people. Pardon? The Tiller people. The Tiller people. I'll have a little look. But it'll be in a few weeks when this is on. No worries. All right, thank you. This 
pound has had sometimes has had like 12 14 boats in here or waiting to move up or down <laughs> we only got caught out once with it so we're always trying to get it done early if it's a busy time of the year what a beautiful day going to enjoy this What's the most important thing about YouTube for us? If we put a video out, it's worldwide. So we try to put out something decent. It's not, like you say, because we do it as a hobby. I can take my time and, and get things right. But getting the sound and the picture, you know, correct, it's so important in a decent video. I know YouTube's not all about that, but uh, you know it, that's just the way I feel. I can't, uh, I can't put rubbish out on a channel. You know, poor videos with mistakes on and all that, knowing that anybody can watch it and no doubt make the appropriate comments, just like we do. <laughs> So nice doing these sets of locks all on our own. No queuing, you know, no waiting for anything. Just lock to lock to lock. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's easy enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could hardly move. I've got all these layers, look. <laughs> Cup of coffee in a minute, yes. I'll just come in for you now after waiting for you. You just don't know here where there's a big gap, like you fell in it. Hello. Early start this morning, paying dividends, and as I'm going along, I can smell coffee, and I can smell toast. <laughs> so I can see that'll be coming soon, and uh, I'll be looking forward to it. Told you what was coming. Oh, I like a proper coffee, I really do. We have a, a Nespresso machine on board, and uh, they're brilliant, they are brilliant. That's why we've got them in our house and our cottage as well, because we just love them, we really do. So many flavours and very tasty. Speaking of which, I told you the toast was coming as well. Hmm, gluten free by the way, you see, that's what I have to have, but genius bread gluten free wise is very very nice. Anyway, best thing to do is to stop filming for now, enjoy my toast and coffee and get back to you soon. Ah. We hope you enjoyed that little trundle down the Clangoslin. We've got a few more to come on that. And then there'll be, yeah, we'll have another few adventures to show you. And then there'll be one later in the season when, uh, no, we'll go into it as the, uh, as the year goes on. <laughs> We're also going to try out something what I think benefit people looking for boats. You know, we've had, we've had like a lot of people know, we've had the cruiser stern, semi-trad and traditional. And the traditional style is our favorite by fur, by fur. But we can go into all them reasons. We'll go into detail, we'll go to detail about what you get for your money and what to look out for as well. I think that might help because we've we've been shocked by some of the things we've seen. You know, not, not only when we've been looking at boats and around, but on YouTube as well. Things will have been completely wrong and things will have definitely been done on a budget, but you're not paying budget prices. So that's all coming, but this one's done. And I know everybody in the world says it, but we don't do it for any form of monetization or patron or anything. But if you want to join us on our adventures and our advice videos, why don't you subscribe, share, comment, and of course, press that notification bell. That's if it's all working for us. 
<laughs> Any adverts you see, it's YouTube who'll, who'll, who'll put them on, not us, because we're not bothered about all that. We're just passionate about our boat. So, if you join us, I guarantee you will get some decent videos and perhaps you'll learn a bit as well. And surely that must be good. But for now, all I can say, and I've not said it for a bit, is ta -ra, and I'll finish my cup of tea.